Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to sort from left to right. Let's say that we get a table like this. Maybe this is something that we didn't create, or maybe we created it and we wanted to change it. And we wanted to have this particular column be the first column. And this example shows what it would look like. Now, I'll show you three examples of how we can do this. Something from very basic to something in a scenario that is probably a little bit more complicated. Now, my first example here is if we've got a column that we wanted to move over to the left, maybe just one column. The most easiest way we can do this is just select the column, press Control X to cut it, and then go to the column where we want to change it and put it in front of, and just uh, right click and select Insert Cut Cells. And basically, that puts it there for us. So that's kind of the most easiest way to do it. If you have a simple table and maybe you're only moving one column or maybe one or two columns and the table is not that wide. So that's probably one way we can do it. Another way we can do it, let me go into demo two here. Another way we can do it is select that column and instead of doing a couple keystrokes of control X to, to cut and then insert cut cells, all you need to do is just select that column, press the shift key and then select the edge of this column. You can see that it turns into a uh, four-sided arrow and just left click and just kind of move it and you can see as you move it you see this bar and you can just move it to where you want it to be placed uh, release the mouse key and you have just moved that uh, particular column over there and that's using the shift and then left mouse button now with the third example let me go ahead and go to the demo tab 3 here so with the third example I'm using the simple table as an illustrative uh, purpose for illustrative purposes but let's say, for example, we had, instead of having these four, a four column table, we had a 10, 20 column table. And we wanted to kind of move some things around. And you can do the uh, cut and paste, uh, insert cut cells, and also do the um, moving it with the shift and left mouse, um, left mouse button key. But there's another way we can do it. We can just kind of order these around. So let's say, for example, we want ID to come first. We'll give that, we'll go a row above it, and we'll put the number one there and first name is going to be second, last name is going to be third, and address is going to be fourth. So what we need to do here is we want to sort from left to right. We want that one to go first and then two, three, four. So the way we can do that is we can do a custom sort. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sort and filter, go to custom sort. Now for you, those of you that are familiar with sort, basically usually sorting is done from top down, but here we can change it with the options button, click on here, and we want to sort from, not from top down but from left to right. So we click on that, we click OK, and we have our selection here. Make sure that this is all selected. Now we want to sort by row two. Whichever row this number is in, this is row two, this is where we want to sort it by. And once we click OK, we want to sort largest, smallest to largest, we click OK. Now you notice that ID is moved first and we have first last name. So you don't always have to think about a linear one to one, one by one kind of uh, progression of the numbers. If you wanted to have a couple columns to sort first, uh, let's say this is kind of a 10 column table, you would order those. And uh, as long as the progression of the other columns, you kind of want to push them over to the right. You can just give them all the kind of the same number. Uh, this is two, maybe I can call this two, and this is two. And they just kind of like everything that is uh, sorted in that linear fashion goes to the left right and so if I go ahead and click here and go to sort custom sort and I'm going to choose my options to go left to right and sort by row 2 here and smallest to largest it'll do the same thing so it kind of moves everything that has that progression sort order if it's small to largest one one or two in this case it's just only one here but anything else it just kind of pushes it over to the right as it's sorting so there are three ways to sort from left to right. Kind of first two examples a little bit more manual. Uh, the third example is using the custom sort feature. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.